Welcome to Learn Oracle Primavera P6 EPPM in 10 minutes. My name is Peter Smith with Volantic, and I will walk you through the 10 minute demo today. The agenda for the demo will follow the project lifecycle of initiating phase, planning phase, executing, control, and closing project lifecycle. The software uses a project initiation form to initiate projects, where people fill in key information related to the project, strategic program, costing, and resource needs, which is passed through a workflow approval. During the initiating phase workflow approval process, look at your projects across your portfolio and how they strategically align with your portfolio and corporate strategies. Do it within a graphical view or a scorecard fashion shown in the bottom. In addition to looking at your portfolio in analysis like this, you're able to look at the capacity planning needs. To take on these initiating projects, how many people and what type of roles are you going to need to fill these projects? Oracle Primavera P6 allows you to look at all your projects across your portfolio and forecast the capacity needs for potential projects and do what if planning by moving start and end dates and running filters by different user types or different what is scenario planning of your own to pick the right strategic mix of projects to move forward with. Organize your projects in an enterprise project structure. Select the appropriate one and get scheduling. The activity screen is where you're going to be entering in a lot of your data. The activity screen is going to be familiar to a lot of schedulers with the WBS or work breakdown structure, milestones, the WBS categorized in different activities, and so on. Easily enter information into your project schedule by pressing the insert button, creating a new activity, naming your activity, setting a duration for it, and then establishing relationships between other activities and scheduling it out. This will give you a feel for how the basic scheduling engine of Oracle Primavera P6 works. Edit the information from the Gantt chart as shown, or enter the information into the tabs at the bottom, such as the general tab, where you can enter in a plan duration, for example. The scheduling engine is very flexible and powerful, whether you're working with a highly complex large thousand activity schedule or a smaller simple schedule. Create columns, sort by filters, and also create your own user-defined views. So you can really look at a project by the way you want to look at it. Here's an example of a more sophisticated layout where you're comparing the schedule and the baseline. And if you're a really savvy scheduler, Oracle Primavera P6 has features such as Check Schedule, which will allow you to run analytical schedule features and really get some analysis on the quality of your schedule based on some thresholds you define within the system, such as logic, negative lag, positive lag, and so on. Now building your schedule here, you set durations, now assigning resources. This is an example of bottom-up planning here, of selecting activity and selecting either a role, resource, or search or request a resource as shown here. Requesting a resource allows you to search for specific resources based on their role and proficiency. Once you've loaded in your resources, you'll be able to see in your assignment tabs all the resources that are assigned to this. And you'll be able to assign it 100% for the planned duration of it, enter in specific units, which will ultimately calculate and add completion costs based on that resource's hourly rate. Take a look at the team usage chart within Oracle Primavera P6, and you can get a good view of the resource usage on your project in a histogram view. Not only can I look at the whole team, but drill into individual resources and look at their usage. See areas that are over allocated, drill into the areas, 
not only across this one project but all the projects and look at the items and take corrective action from there or email a project manager who is in charge of that resource to do so. If you want to look at items in more of a task or assignment list, you can view resources and all the activities they've been assigned to, grouped by resource shown here, and on the right, the hours per week in which they're allocated. Take a real analytical look at the resource allocation with the resource analysis module. Look at resource usage in a stacked histogram or pie chart area to get a good idea of where resources are spending their time and then take corrective action if needed to plan resources out. In the planning resources module you can take more of a top-down approach by selecting a project and assigning a resource at a high level as a percentage of their time allocated to this or across the life of the project. You can also export this view to a spreadsheet. During the executing phase of your project, track important project information such as issues, documents, and risk, rolled up in a project workspace as shown here, which is project-centric information. Track the progress and collect easy progress updates through a number of means. Team member tracks it like a to-do list and is also available on a mobile device. Or track your progress in a timesheet manner with Progress Reporter where you're tracking the hours for each activity on a daily basis. Or email your updates and update your project conveniently from your Outlook. Oracle Primavera P6 dashboards and reports allow you to roll up information and view it real time in a graphical display. This will allow you to get early warning indicators of projects and have visibility across your entire enterprise. Take these reports, print them out, and bring them to meetings as well for easy collaboration. You can have corporate dashboards as shown here, and you can easily customize your corporate dashboards. Role-based dashboards are available for each user with specific information to the projects they are working on. Hyperlinks to their specific projects allow for efficient access to information that is close to them. Oracle Primavera P6 comes with Oracle's Business Intelligence Publisher. It comes with 38 standard out-of-the-box reports, allows you to report the portfolio level, project level, and down to the detailed level. Also, report on projects earned value. Automate your reports by scheduling them weekly to run an email out to your distribution list. Once your project is complete, save it as a template for lessons learned and accurate archival of project information. If you'd like to learn more about Oracle Primavera P6, or Volantis Consulting Services for Oracle Primavera P6, please reach out to us. We have consulting services involving strategic consulting for assessments, developing requirements for project systems, or developing roadmaps, pointing out opportunities for growth in areas. We also offer implementation services to help with process optimization, change management user adaptation, installation of the software, as well as training, on-site training, virtual training, and training on demand so you can train at your convenience. Also a wide variety of technical services such as integration into ERP systems, cloud management, and development of custom apps and custom interfaces for you to help you be successful with your application. If you'd like to contact us, visit us at the web at www.volantic.com. There's a link in the description below. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful.